Well, Austin police need help identifying three suspects in a car they say are connected to the street takeovers last month. You're looking at pictures of three men. Some of them are hard to identify. Not the one in the middle, though. KXN's Sarah Alsheh gives us a look at those images along with the council member's perspective on the investigation. Not long ago, clouds of smoke filled intersections across Austin from cars spinning and drifting alongside fireworks popping off. Ah! All of it happening during the street takeover on February 18th. Taking turns, doing like donuts for two or three minutes with people hanging out the windows. It was an incident that concerned Austin City Council member Mackenzie Kelly. When I found out about it, I was initially very frightened for the city of Austin. As of February 21st, the Austin Police Department says it arrested at least seven people connected to the street takeovers. APD is hoping to add to that list by releasing these images. The department is asking for help identifying three suspects and a car they say were involved with the takeovers. Police say these two suspects are between the ages of 18 and 25. The third suspect is said to be 20 to 30 years old. APD says they're being investigated for things like aggravated assault against a peace officer, deadly conduct, and evading in a motor vehicle. Police are also looking for this car, a 2006 to 2010 red Nissan 350Z 2 door with a customized rear license plate. Council member Kelly says she's confident in APD's investigation into the takeovers, but she does worry about what could happen if more were to pop up in the future. If this were to happen and there were another incident happening, you know, uh, somewhere else in the city, then we wouldn't have enough police officers to respond to both incidents at the same time. And that is a very scary situation to consider. APD has faced staffing shortages for years now, but they are trying to prepare for this new threat. On February 21st, the chief confirmed officers are training for the possibility of more street takeovers. These drills will ensure a coordinated and controlled but effective response to similar activity in the future. Sarah Olshah, KXAN News. And the APD Organized Crime Division is still working to identify additional suspects and vehicles and says it will seek arrest warrants as more evidence becomes available. APD is asking anyone with specific information regarding these suspects to contact them right there at the number at the bottom of your screen.